This is the American Contractor. Today is Saturday, the 14th of April, 2012. So I want to make a short video, just several slides. First thing is about the Central Bank of Iraq. In the next coming upcoming weeks, they're going to have two investigative committees, one from the Prime Minister of Cabinet's office and also from the Iraqi Parliament. They want to investigate the CBI and find out what's going on with the Iraqi dinar. Why are people losing confidence in this Iraqi dinar uh, against the U.S. dollar? You know, you already have uh, Iraqi people that mistru mistrust the banks. They don't trust the banks at all. So now you have the devaluing the Iraqi dinar, the Iraqi dollar. The U.S. dollar is getting stronger. It is the uh, currency of choice actually in Iraq. And if you look at this last paragraph, um, show you, shows you how serious they are in, in finding out what's going on and holding those accountable. It says if there's been any breaches of this hope that there will be government intervention to save the Iraqi economy and to hold those responsible who caused the fall of the Iraqi dinar. So it's the government's responsibility for the um, the economic um, Iraqi the Iraqi economy um, doing you know being stable and doing well. They're the overseers of the uh, CBI. Here we get the Iraq halts plans to redenominate the dinar. The Iraqi cabinet uh, issued a resolution order to um, stop the uh, project to redenominate or issue the new Iraqi currency for in Iraq. There's one quote in here I want you to pay attention to. It says here we have more than 30 trillion dinars in circulation to withdraw this amount from the market and then to examine them and to dispose of them is a huge process. So once you withdraw the amount from the market and then to examine them, we want to examine each uh, Iraqi dinar currency. So how long do you think that's going to take to examine each Iraqi currency for um, authenticity and also to you know check counterfeit? And that's from the Ali Al Alak is the cabinet secretary for the PM Maliki. So there's a quote here. It's not from the CBI. It's not from anybody else. It's from the CBI cabinet, uh, correction, the Iraqi government cabinet office official secretary uh, giving out this order. And he's having quoted in the in the Reuters newspaper. So it carries a lot of weight. They're shutting it down. And uh, they're waiting for the process to investigate the CBI and see what's going on there. And here's just another article just confirming what I just said. Council of Ministries issued a decision to wait to remove the zeros from the currency. You don't hear nothing about the CBI governor El, El uh, Shabibi, you know Sudan El Shabibi, talking about this. So, it's an order, it's a resolution, it's a ballot, it's enforced, and um, so just going to see what happens. Wikipedia, that monetary policy, I bring this up to show you that the uh, definition of monetary policy is a process by which the monetary authority of a country controls the controls the supply of money often targeting a rate of interest for the purpose of promoting economic growth and stability. Now I bring this up because the next article, Iraqi Parliament tells the cabinet not to meddle in the central bank policy. When they say policy, they're talking about the monetary policy, and they are right to do that. Uh, Iraqi Parliament was correct in issuing this letter out, but this cabinet still holds sway over the CBI as far as uh, changing up the currency, um, signing money over or, or paying money or anything like that. The cabinet has the power to do that. Just get, just so you know, the CBI Governor Al Sanan Shabibi, his paycheck is signed by the Ministry of Finance. Ministry of Finance falls under the cabinet. All government employees are paid by the Ministry of Finance, including the CBI. They're all government employees. CBI Governor Al Sanan Shabibi is a government employee. So is Usama Al Jaffe. He's the uh, parliament speaker. He's a government employee. His check is signed by the Ministry of Finance. So and that's uh, where we're at right there. Uh, Central Bank. You have the PM Maliki, Iranian uh, President Ahmed Dinejad, Syrian President Al Bushad, Bushar al Assad, correction. These three guys, they're working in tandem, they're all working together. Now, who's to say that uh, PM Maliki and the CBI are working together to get all this U.S. dollars out of the CBI and into you know both these countries' hands? You know, you got criminals, you got um, other entities that are making profits off the um, 
the demise of the devalued of the Iraqi dinar. And it goes back to this article by the Prime Minister's legal affairs officer, uh, Mohammed Fadel says that the transfer of $200 billion out of the Iraq to the central bank auction. That's a lot of money. Just the U.S. dollars auction of the CBI, um, $200 billion out. That is significant. And you got to ask yourself, who's benefiting from all this? Where all this money go? You have the Iraqi budget, plus you got the auctions. That's a lot of money. And it doesn't give a time frame of when this is happening, but just giving you uh, quote in the article it says there are people who are participated in the auction of the central bank They're not really traders and traders in Arabic is translated to traders, but it's the bank. It's the bank Do not go These amounts did not go these amounts for the purpose of the state and the private sector and cover the needs But I but went into the pockets of speculators and smugglers and they became beneficiaries of the money That was allocated to the projects of the people um, Instead of going to submitting the money on these auctions to projects, they went to speculators and smugglers. So it just gives you an idea, you know, $200 billion, that's a lot of money. So that's why the committees are going to investigate and see what's going on, and um, we'll see what happens in the next coming weeks. Sinan al-Shabibi, the governor of the CBI, will be going to the parliament. I'm sure he'll be going in the hot seat. He'll be answering a lot of questions. I'm sure PM Melke will have a lot of questions for him, too, in his cabinet. But... Um, we just have to see what happens. It's not over, and uh, it's going to continue on in the press about the CBI, the devaluing of the Iraqi dinar, and uh, you know the U.S. dollars, you know, taking over in Iraq, which is king. U.S. dollars, U.S. dollars has always been king in Iraq. So uh, we'll see what happens. Because they're definitely not going to the Iraqi people. And there's another article here: Governor of a central bank attributes the rise of the dollar to the tense political situation internally and regionally. They got a point, um, but was, like I said, we'll just see what happens when the investigations uh, come out with the CBI. There will be some changes made in the CBI. I guarantee you that. Uh, Sanan al-Shabibi, I'm sure he's got his bags packed, and um, by the end of the year, if not before then, um, he'll be leaving. And when he does, the his staff at the CBI will also be leaving also. So, you just have to see what happens. This is the American Contractor, my uh, latest uh, video podcast, and I appreciate all your comments. Um, the last thread there with uh, the professor, he's working hard. Uh, school's in session on Saturday, I guess. But I appreciate everybody's comments and um, subscribing to my mailing list. I appreciate it. And um, if you have any questions on anything, just go ahead and um, put your comment in there. I'll try to get to it or just send me an email. And um, that'd be all for American Contractor. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.